So today I thought I'd show you how to make simple spinach pasta using no eggs and no liquid at all. Um, this takes two simple ingredients. So the first ingredient is um, doppia zero, so our double zero flour. However, if you've not got any double zero flour, then obviously you can use semola, you can use plain flour, you can use um, a whole grain flour, you can use spelt, you can use kamut. Um, you, you can use basically any flour. Um, I would actually use a proper flour, one with gluten at the moment, um, and not your, your kind of your chestnut flour or your pea flour because it does need some structure because of the lack of eggs. So here in my bowl, I have 300 grams of doppia zero. And then here I've got about 250 grams ish of just um, spinach, you know, just, just kind of your standard spinach that's been washed out of a bag, nothing fancy. These are our two ingredients, okay? The only other thing that we need is a scraper in order to work the dough, scrape and rest. And actually it's a food processor. Now, if I go across to the food processor, okay, the reason why we need a food processor is because when we add our flour and then we add our spinach, the blade, the speed of the blade and the heat of the blade is actually what creates um, this is what's going to make um, a really, really fantastic dough. Okay, so into our processor, then we're going to add all our flour. So this is our 300 grams of doppia zero, like so. Okay, and then when it comes to spinach, I'm actually going to add it gradually because depending on how the flour has been stored, how warm the room is, um, how ambient everything is, will affect the amount of spinach because obviously the spinach is the liquid okay so I'm going to go with two handfuls like so I have extra in here because I normally do tend to spill it around so I'm going to just pop that on I'm going to pop the black the processor on for one minute Okay, so now I'm going to add a little bit more spinach into the food processor, like so. I think that should be enough. Let's pop the lid back on, give it another blitz. Okay, and now the blade is running very, very quickly. Okay, and you're going to be able to see that the colour is going to change the whole uh, like crummy mixture will start to loosen and this will provide us with like a very loose vivid green breadcrumb okay and spinning and spinning and spinning you must let this work okay so as soon as it starts to form into a dough we're ready to knead okay you must be patient Okay, so let it just work. We can see now, and the sound changes as well. There we go. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to pull it all out, like so. Let's get all this out here. I'm go to my board. Okay, here's some semola, just the semola flour. Okay, so instead of using double zero now, I just use semola. Okay, and the semola um, adds a great texture, so it doesn't add any density to the dough, um, but what it does add um, is a great surface in order to be a, for you to be able to knead quite comfortably. Okay, so this actually doesn't need a great deal of work purely because the blade um, has done actually the hard work for us. Okay, like so. so I'm just going to do a bit of a stretch. It's got a lovely stretch to it already. So this was, if we just recap, this was 300 grams of double zero flour. And then I tend to normally add between 240 and 245 grams of, uh, of spinach leaf. Okay, I will say that this, uh, this technique only does work with spinach. This doesn't work with any other leaf um, because spinach is the one that has the majority of the liquid and that's what we're looking for. Okay, so this has no egg at all. Okay, this is just spinach and flour. So this is our 
our spinach dough that I'm going to transform into. I have no idea yet, um, but we'll wait and see. So I'm going to cover this, allow it to rest for about 20 minutes and then go from there. So this would be a great base for a lasagna. This will give you your spinach lasagna sheets. This could be anything. This could be tortellini. This could be spaghetti. Absolutely anything. Okay, so this is 300 grams of spinach. Uh, sorry, 300 grams of double zero and about 240-ish grams of spinach leaf. Enjoy.